Hello, my name is Dr. Sami Matias. I'm Assistant Clinical Professor of Rheumatology at USC. I'm a practicing rheumatologist in Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm seeing uh, around like 2,000 patients of fibromyalgia in my office. And today we're going to discuss about a new article just published in Current Rheumatology Review in 2017 about using of low-dose naltroxone uh, for fibromyalgia. And uh, I have in this study 25 patients, and in this 25 patients we have 20% improvement of pain and functionality and fatigue, according to five major questionnaire, and improvement of 50% 50 50 of this patient improved by 41%. Currently, I have more than 300 patients on low-dose naltroxone. Low-dose naltroxone is a unique uh, medication, and it works in a different mechanism of action. It blocks your morphine receptor in your body and makes your body make your own morphine endogenously and that help your pain and fatigue and functionality. At the same time, low-dose naltroxone, it blocks the cytokines, which are inflammatory markers. A lot of it like IL-1 and 6 and IL-8 and TNF-alpha, which all can help a patient of fibromyalgia inflammation. It will work better for fibromyalgia, primary fibromyalgia, or secondary to another disease like lupus or rheumatoid or Jogren syndrome or other diseases. Also, it will work for Crohn's disease, for fatigue, for a patient who have multiple sclerosis with fatigue, patient with lupus as helping the immune system. And, and sometimes it makes patient losing weight. So low dose naltroxone is a great addition. I added in my study to another medication of fibromyalgia, I added to Simpalta or Lyrica or both. And I added also for NSAIDs like Motrin and Eve Advil and no side effect or, or any kind of drug interaction and can be taken by itself as a treatment for fibromyalgia for patients who cannot take any other medication. The only contraindication of low-dose naltroxone, you cannot take it if you take narcotic, Vicodin or Narco. I think it's a great addition to fibromyalgia patients. It helps all aspects of pain, fatigue, and functionality for fibromyalgia. And I hope one day it will be approved by FDA for treatment of fibromyalgia as a great addition to us, especially this is a difficult disease affecting more than 8 million Americans with fibromyalgia uh, and it affects big scope of female more than male so I hope one day we have a new medications approved by FDA for this difficult disease. Thank you very much.